Yeah. You said this is the first series well, of time travel? Yes, yeah, the time travel piece. Right. It's going to be part of the series. Okay. So, this basically here is um, me. Right. That's you? It looks like it's something coming from outer space. Yeah, well, I use this to represent me. Okay. I'm a little strange guy. I get a little weird dream. Mm -hmm. I'm actually time traveling somebody's dream. It's actually, it's not just go to the past and then come back. Right? And um, this represents people. The mountains represents people. Right. And I consider myself gifted, not because I'm perfect, but I consider myself gifted because of the time travel. You have the ability to move, mm -hmm. and most people stay in one kind of mentally, one kind of mentality, and one kind of frequency. Right? And um, I use a lot of uh, blues here. Right? To represent, you know, it's, give it that feel like if it's, uh, you know, the light is just, you know, reflecting off of the clouds. Kind of thing. What what medium is this? Is this like oil? Okay, oil paint. Do you often use oil over acrylics or? I have one piece. I use a little bit of acrylic on top of oil, but the majority of my pieces I use oil. I like to use oil because I like how it blends. I love how it blends. Right. And um, let me show you some more colors here. Let me show you this here. In outdoor event. Yeah. So this one here is called Natural Love. Natural Love. Natural Love. Okay. I use the macaws because you know in the wild the macaws tend to stay together for the duration of their lives. Do the they? Wild. Yes, they do. The male and the female. They really? They stick together. They stick together. Wow, that's so beautiful. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, they stick together. And use that because to... you know these days relationship is just all messed up now, right? Nobody stays together. Nobody stays married together no more. Nothing. Right? There's so much divorce. Right. And yeah. nature could be our best teacher. Because nature is telling you right here, like this is. Look at them. They're beautiful. They're taking care of each other. They look, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's natural love. That's what love is all about. That's a very tropical feel. Mm -hmm. feel the pain. Right now, really and, um, this one here is called Newman's Slave. Newman's Slave. Newman's Slave. Newman's Slave. Okay. Hue. Hue means color. Hue. Ah. It's color. But I put the N U to represents new, as in a new type of being on the planet. Okay. As you can see here, this individual, he's not black, he's not white, he's not red, he's not yellow, he's just silver, which means he's more of a kind of robot. And people these days are becoming more and more like a robotic kind of mentality. Why? Because they've been plugged into this program called media. Right? It's just some of the stuff in the media shows you on TV, right? You know, right. CBC, right? That's very interesting. But, McDonald's came to my mind for some reason. I said, you know, I should put McDonald's in here. But then I looked at it as the fact that people are being fed this information or misinformation and eating this crap up like it was some kind of McDonald's happy meal. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right? So they've been fed a lot of misinformation and okay. they've been all controlled and programmed. And this is cables here and this is basically a flash TV. This is a flash TV, right? Flash TV. And um, you see his eyes looking all spaced out. Yes. You know, they walk on the street these days and you see folks, they plug into their iPads and their iPhone and nobody talks to nobody, no, nobody no more, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you have a little matrix symbol there. <laughs> six, oh, six, six. triple six. I didn't even yeah. notice that. Yeah. So, basically, this piece is representing... This is, today the, this, and how is the new, this is what the new man of tomorrow is going to be the like. The new man of robot. tomorrow. A robot. A robot. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. People think robots back in the day was all about machines. No. Robots have flesh and blood like me and you. But they've been programmed. Men. It's all a mind game. Mm -hmm. And once you control the person's mind, you have them for life. Okay. You understand? Once you control a person's mind, mind you, you have, have them, them, for, them for life. That's, That's very does. interesting. That's what the government does. Very interesting. Right now you a little silver. Right. Yeah, lots and of computer. silver. Mm -hmm. I put it on a matrix background right here, so the black and green represents yeah, yeah. that matrix type of background. Okay, all right. This one here, where the man is lying on his back, um, what what is this one about? It's called Zion under the taking of a human soul. So that's a person's soul right there. This this person died. This person has died, and that's that her soul. Dead. That's his soul going through. Okay. Another dimension. Okay. Right. He's 
going through that little tunnel there. Right. And each lightning flash right there represents a movie of his past life. So each flash represents a short clip of his past life on Earth. Mm -hmm. And according to how he lived his life on Earth, he could either ascend or descend. Okay. And this entity is coming out here to take him in to the underworld. Because okay. I think this guy was probably up to no good. Mm -hmm. He probably lied, cheat, steal, kill, and rob. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be judging here. Right? So he's going to be taken in and he's going to descend. He'll probably come back around um, and give him a second chance to come back to Earth until he corrects whatever he did wrong before in his past life and all that he can so he can transgress or progress up to higher dimensions of consciousness and all that stuff. Okay. Right? And so use, um, purple because purple is a high spiritual color, right there. Purple is a high spiritual Purgy color. Is a spiritual color. Yeah. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now this one here, I see the cross. I see um, <laughs> three faces that look very angry, or like exactly. something is happening, exactly. and, and there's some kind of fighting going on. This here is called the Children of Hell. The, the Children of Hell. The children of Hell. This, this is, is me dying and coming back as a seven-year-old living in a inner city ghetto. This is you dying, coming this back as a me you interpreting my environment as a seven-year-old. What I see in okay. my environment okay. as a seven-year-old living. In in a ghetto. Okay. Right? And um, the, the, the background right there, you're going to see pretty colors. Mm -hmm. And I got the inspiration from Skittles. Okay. Skittles have different colors just like that. Right. It's sweet. It's a sweet. It's candy. And I use that to represent, to represent politicians. Okay. Because politicians all sweet talk. They all sweet talk. Right? Politicians all sweet talk. All well, politicians sweet news. talk. All global legals all right. sweet talk. They all right. lie. Right. right? And the apartment buildings here represents a mental confinement. Okay. No, not not anybody lives in an apartment building, right? But mm -hmm. to me, apartment buildings not built for human beings. Right. Yeah, they're more a cage, right? And inspiration for this apartment buildings came from. Uh, I was actually doing some research on um, Caracas, Venezuela. Okay. And they got some tall towers called Tower of David. Mm -hmm. and it's basically a thirty foot, uh, thirty story tower that um, was abandoned by the government and now squatters moved in, right? Okay. So I was thinking about that, I was thinking about Chicago, you know what I'm saying? So it represents a mental confinement. Mm -hmm. And the colors is going left, right, back and forth. Yeah. Left, right, back mm -hmm. and forth because whatever the politicians say, they, nothing's never, nothing's ever said in stone. They always say something and go back and do something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And what you have down here is two kids, teenagers, mm -hmm. about to pop off. Mm -hmm. These little guns right there. Mm -hmm. Over a stupid basketball game. Right? They're going to fight here. Little single parents. Right? And you have blood coming down here. So the blood represents murder and anger and everything negative mm -hmm. coming off there. And they got religion. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people still focus on religion, 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 and not focusing on the real issues. Right? Because a lot of time people so focus on religion that they don't see the bigger picture. It's, this is beyond religion, it's beyond church. Mm -hmm. Right? So we gotta deal with stuff within our families mm -hmm. and try to create stronger, better families, you know. Mm -hmm. It's so much a single parent now, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so that's what that means right there. Sure enough, okay. Right. Now, this one here, of this iconic musician everybody will recognize, uh, Michael Jackson. What inspired you to do a painting of this of, of Michael Jackson? Uh, this, this came this. off of a front cover of a magazine after he died. This was a year after he died. And I saw this magazine and this was on the front cover. And this is what I knew Michael was as a little child growing up in the uh, 80s. You know, the real black Michael Jackson, right? Um, and I just love the paint. It was a really nice paint. It's very, very powerful. This is him about to throw it down, you know what I'm saying? The one glove and the sunglasses, but take it off to do battles on yeah. stage, you know what I'm saying? I use a lot of oil, right? And the, if you zoom in on the jacket, right? And you pass your hand, just touch the jacket right there. Touch this. This side here? Just touch. Pass, pass your fingers on that. Oh, I That's feel the texture. Right. There's such That's texture in this. Wow. It's all right, it's all details. 
Wow, that's amazing. I can imagine. I can imagine. And I um, use a sort of silver glaze, so when the light hits it on a certain angle, you're gonna get a little reflection here. Mm -hmm. I love using mm -hmm. jack. Right? And um, I use a message in the background here, so you're gonna see dark clouds. Oh, I see around. Like oh, a yeah, it's like, it's like a frame right. around. It's coming around, but that represents darkness. Okay. In the music. Right, especially today. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion, right? Mm -hmm. And that sunlight represents Michael Jackson's birth, and the sun rays represents his music, which is more positive and conscious and heal the world and mm -hmm. we are the world and man the mirror. So it's positive music, right? And it's coming down through the clouds, and the dove represents peace. Mm -hmm. This music was mostly about peace and love. And the symbol represents the plant girls right here. Mm -hmm. He's internationally known, he's well respected, everybody loves him as an artist. Yeah, right. around the world, in everybody every country, the way, exactly. every everybody. race, every. Yeah. North, South, East, West, everybody knows yeah. Jackson. Yeah. So tell me, um, River, how long have you been painting for? Painting? Um, basically, I started off as a little child, I was involved in. Yeah. I started off doing more drawings mm -hmm. and um, you know as a child growing up, teenager, you're playing basketball, football, BMX race and all that stuff and you can still do your art but you want to be more active right so it's only a few years ago I decided to take my art to work on my natural gift more seriously. But I did the whole theatre and I did stage film, you know music all that stuff but this year came to me natural. And because I have that theater and that film background, you know, um, and that music background, I try to put a story within each painting. Mm -hmm. So that I create a, a still life theater here for people, to entertain people. And um, why do you think it's important for young people to be interested in the arts? Because sometimes people, like you said, getting involved in being active in sports and... Because it allows you to exercise your mind and think outside the box. Right? And um, you can create your own world. And if you have something to say, you can say it this way. You can say it through music, through dance, through theater. But I mean, if you have a gift, use it and try to help somebody else. Yeah. You know, use it and try to inspire others. Use it and try to change the environment. Use it and try to be a revolutionist. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, if people are interested in seeing more of your artwork, do you have a website they can go to? In two weeks' time, I will. <laughs> okay. But my email is uh, lovemyart2 at gmail.com. Yeah. Okay, great. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.